Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. And this is a Sturm Panzer II, the Tier 4 German SPG on the 15cm gun line. And it's being driven or commanded by Braden JA95. Now, um, you're on the south spawn of um, Steps, and it's an encounter battle. So, uh, let's see how we get on. A little bit of historical data for you. The Sturm Panzer II was actually a conversion of the Panzer II. Um, they had plenty of Panzer II chassis left over after it was declared obsolete because so many of them were taken out by French tanks during the invasion of France. They were okay when they were invading uh, Poland, but uh, they were totally outmatched by the French tanks, uh, who were much tougher. And um, So uh, even though the Panzer II had speed, it just couldn't stand up to the damage that the French tanks were doing to them. So they converted them into SPGs, and some of them got a 15cm gun. A few were turned into the Vespa with a 10.5cm gun, but the lucky ones ended up with the 15cm howitzer, which is much more powerful, and I really enjoy this Tier 4 SPG. 15cm gun, round out, direct hit! And he's wiped out a Largo, just like that, 350 hit points with a direct shot right onto him. It's that powerful. That's why I think the one thing I do love about this 15 centimeter howitzer, it is a real killer. Okay, Matilda runs out. Oh, and he hit the target. It definitely went in, but there was no explosion, so he definitely got the Matilda. The question is... How much damage did the Matilda suffer? Okay, he's letting the aim drift. So then four. I'm just going to enlarge the mini-map a little bit. He has it a bit smaller than I do. Okay, M4. And he got a hit. Solid hit. 174 hit points. Picked up some stun assist as well. It is a 15 centimeter gun, so it does pick up stun. Very, very little stun, but it does get some stun. Round out on the DW2, and he splash kills it! 119 hit points, or did he get the kill? No, I don't think he did actually, I think the Electo got the kill, but he splashed it so he got the assist. In fact, he got track assist, he's tracked it, and the a Electo then killed it. Okay, SU85, round out, and that's a kill shot. 21 hit points, and that's his second kill. Okay, he's turning around, because... His team are having a pretty bad battle, actually, at the moment. There's only six of them left. Um, and most of them are over this side of the map. Um, there's a Hetzer, a Matilda. He's dialing in on the Hetzer. It looks to me like a standard gun Hetzer, not the uh, 105, but the Electos firing the 25 pounder at him, I think. And he's taken out the Hetzer. 57 hit points that time. Okay, now I think he needs to get to the cap. There's two in the cap at the moment. Um, it's going to take them a while to cap because obviously this is an encounter battle, so it takes a little while longer. It's about three and a half minutes. Um, but all the of his team who are, were over by the cap have been wiped out. So he needs to get over there pretty quickly to get a cap reset. And it's almost within range. I think he was thinking about going into cover there, but uh, he's got a teammate, the T28 is going up near the cap, so he fires a round into the cap, unsighted, he's got uh, enough rounds to, to last, 23 rounds left. I think he fired that one blind just on the off chance it might catch and splash the enemy that's in the cap at the moment. But he's got plenty of time. Okay, now hopefully the T28 will find out where that enemy is. And then uh, Braden will be able to put a round into him. He's aiming. He's got three kills now at the moment, so still doing rather nicely. Waiting for the result. There's only three left on his team now. There he is! It's an M5 Stuart. He's behind the structure. Has to wait for it to dial in. 
The steward knows that the T-28's there. He knows he's been seen, so he's got six cents. Rounds out. And he didn't get the reset. But he did destroy the structure. Now, will the T-28 get the reset? The Panzerceps for Letter Fear is holding back the rest of the enemy on the west side. Rounds out. And he gets a reset this time. 59 hit point reset. But the enemy is still capping because he only splashed him. Okay, T-28's found the M5 again. He's almost reloaded. Okay, extending his aim. Needs to do that using right hand mouse button. It's so much quicker. I think you'll, you'll really find that if you want to aim at a target straight away. You just click the right hand mouse button on the minimap on the place you want to look at. Oh, he got a hit that time. 73 hit points, two critical hits. He definitely hit the M5, but he didn't even kill it. So he's got another reset. So he might have picked up enough for a, a defender. And unfortunately, it's just him and the T28 left. No, he's the only one left. And he takes out the M5 in the cap. So he's the last member of his team left alive. And he's facing five opponents. Uh, a Matilda, an SU-85B, a Sav M43, a Panzerceps Falletta Fear, and another Sturm Panzer II. Now, it's probably not wise for him to go into the cap because it would tell everyone where he, he is. I think what he's going to do instead is try and hold out about against the advancing enemy. He will probably see them as they come over that ridge towards him. Mind you, he might not know in time to actually do much about it because they may see him before he sees them. His view range is 255 meters. Now that would take him to just about over that rise we can see off in the distance. So if they come over that round that corner, they might be faced with his 15 centimeter cannon and he might be able to get around into them quickly. But it's his long reload on the uh, Storm Hazard 2. Typically, without a, a rammer or a, a crew with brothers in arms, it takes 17.4 seconds to reload this 15 centimetre cannon. So that's a long time in between shells. But the, the thing is, it's a 15 centimetre gun. It does do a lot of damage, a great deal of damage. So you might be able to one-shot those enemies uh, coming because most of them have suffered considerable damage already. Now he's situating himself against that wreck to protect his rear side just in case the enemy comes from the other side. It will enable him to turn round and dirt them if they come from that direction. And he's hoping that they're going to come this direction because it's the direction he's aimed. But he's just doing a quick check every now and then just to see. He's using his right hand mouse button to turn around. There's one of the targets. It's the, st the other Sturm Panzer too. He's come all the way around and look at that. He takes it out with a hastily aimed shot, but 190 hit points and he's wiped him out. The only thing is he would have been seen. And there's the Panzerceps for letter B. And he fires his round, but he fires it over the top. Now, Brandon can put an accurate round into him whilst he's reloading. And he splashes him. 141 hit points, but he doesn't wipe him out. Gives him a small amount of stun. Of course, that does, that's, not, that's just going to slow him down a little. He's going to fire again, and he misses. That will give Braden another chance to take out this, this uh, SPG. Rounds out, and he takes him out. The other good thing about this SPG, the 15 centimeter gun does have some splash. Just as the, uh, the Gorilla has some splash. Because basically, it is the same gun as the stock gun on the Gorilla. Right, there's the Sav M43. Now he's trying to fire at Braden, but he's firing a long way away, and that was a splash kill of 16 hit points on the Sav. Now, I think the Sav was far enough away because he didn't have much health left. And there's the Matilda. He's only got two enemies left, and that Matilda is badly damaged. That's the same one he hit earlier. He's still reloading. 
runs out and he kills him but he suffered a big hit in the process he's only got two hit points left his driver's wounded his gunner's wounded his gun's damaged oh my gun now he's he needs that gun but i don't think he's got a repair kit the question is where is that last enemy the su-85b we don't know it might be advisable now for uh, Braden to go into the cap and start capping out. There's only one enemy left. He'll know that Braden's in the cap, but he won't know where in the cap if Braden can situate himself behind one of the wrecks. There is a wreck in the cap. I believe it's the M5 that he killed earlier. Oh, this is going to be tense because if he wins this, he not only wins the battle, he gets a collar ban off and a collar ban off for fighting his way to the to the end for killing all five opponents. And that's so rarely seen in a, a below tier five SPG because of the reload times. This is really epic. His heart must be going ten to the dozen. I know mine would be. He's quickly using his right hand mouse button to flick round to see what's going on behind him, just in case the enemy is coming up behind him. It could be that SU-85 is turned over somewhere. Well, he's not going to be able to cap out now, because that's 3 minutes 50. Unless he makes a move into the cap now, he has to kill that SU-85, because he won't be able to cap out. Right, he's going into the cap. As I say, there are there is a wreck in the cap, the uh, the M5. So he can use that as a shield from the north and then aim towards the south as he did just before. It's moving very slowly because he's got a dead driver. He needs to be careful because he's only got two hit points left. Oh, no, he's not going to stay in the cap. He's a braver man than I because he's actually looking for the target. I think I would have jumped into that cap straight away that it was getting close to 3 minutes 30 seconds. And sat there and um, capped out just in case the SU-85 is overturned somewhere. It has happened before. He might even be an AFK, but it's going to be a long drive for him to get to uh, within shooting range of uh, the spawn point. And on top of that, his gun's um, damaged, so he might not be as accurate as he uh, would have been. That's a two minute warning. going as the crow flies the direct route it might have been quick to actually uh, to stay on the level You know, I'm not sure that SU-85B has actually been seen during this battle at all. He may be AFK. He hasn't got any kills. I can't be so sure that he's actually done any damage. But I do hope that uh, Braden takes a repair kit with him next time so um, he can at least repair his vehicle or get his, um, his crew um, up and running again. Whoa! There's the enemy. He must be AFK. He's only got a few seconds left. He must be AFK. 
He must have disconnected. Braden's going to shoot him at point blank range to make absolutely certain of getting the kill. 16 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And he blew up! What the? I don't believe it. He hits him. It wasn't enough to finish him off. But he blew up afterwards anyway because he was AFK. So the game ended with the enemy dead because he was AFK. Which means Braden's the winner. Oh my god, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Braden JA95 in the Sturm Panzer 2. He picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, career capacitations, or module damage. He did 21 critical hits in that battle. He picked up the medal that everyone would like to get, the Kolobanovs medal for standing alone against five enemy and winning. And he did stand alone against five enemy, although he didn't kill the last one. Technically speaking, uh, the computer killed the last one. Uh, <laughs> But uh, even so, um, he picked up a Starks medal because he was uh, damaged by at least two enemies, lost at least two thirds of his hit points, and he killed at least two enemy during the battle and survived. Um, he picked up a Top Gun because he killed at least six enemies. And we can see he picked up eight enemies. If he was a tier five, he would have picked up a Radley Walters. But because they won't give a Radley Walters to uh, vehicles under tier five, he, that's all he will get, the Top Gun, which is so unfair. Um, and he picked up a high caliber on top of that because he did the most damage in the battle. Well, that's rather unsurprising. Just look at the number of enemy he hit. And there's the SU-85B, the one at the end. And you can see, yep, he did hit it, um, but he didn't kill it. Uh, he only did 175 hit points to it. It was the computer that killed it at the end because the enemy was AFK. So it regards him as having been wiped out. Um, in fact, actually, if I look at that, because I'm rather confused as why the system, it was destroyed by, yes, destroyed by himself because the player disconnected. So uh, that's why he lost and uh, Braden wins because the player was no longer there. Um, and uh, so Braden got the highest uh, number of hit points, 1,654. He got the highest number of kills, eight. He got the highest base XP of 1,190. He fired 17 rounds, got eight direct hits, eight penetration, seven splash, did damage of 1,654 hit points, of which 1,024 were at more than 300 meters. He received two hits, two penetrations. Uh, both of those, I believe, were from the Matilda. Uh, he spotted three enemy vehicles. He uh, damaged 11, killed eight. He also did damage assistance of 46 hit points and stun assistance of 99. He caused four stuns and he managed to defend the cap for 68 hit points. Oh, 68 cap points. That's so disappointing. He was just two cap points away from getting a defender medal on top of all of that. Uh, that's incredible. Okay, uh, he received on a standard account 24,389 credits, uh, but after repair of the vehicle and ammunition resupply, he still had 17,674 credits, which is a huge amount. He received 1,190 base XP, uh, but it was times two for the first victory of the day, and he got an additional 12 for being in a platoon, uh, so his total was 2,392 experience points uh, altogether. That was an absolutely brilliant re replay, Brandon, uh, Braden. Um, sorry if I butchered your name. Um, I really like this uh, SPG. I really do. I think it's a great fun uh, at Tier 4. Uh, I, but I'm going to have to up my game considerably to get the sort of results that you just got with this uh, in this battle. Uh, that was pretty amazing. And uh, kudos to you for actually going to look for him. Um, rather than capping out. It would have been so easy to cap out and you would have got a, an invader medal as well if you had. Um, but uh, even so, um, yep, a lot of respect for you to actually go out there, find the enemy and shoot him. 
uh, it's just amazing that uh, even though your shot failed, uh, you still won. <laughs> so <laughs> what a way to do it. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel because uh, it's run for the benefit of the members. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.